more doctors than ever are surprisingly using a natural therapy to help their patients fight cancer, and the results are very promising. It's called high dose IV vitamin C, also known as IVC. This has actually been studied for decades for its effect on cancer cells, and although the results have been really impressive, unfortunately, most people haven't even heard of it, and most doctors still aren't using it. So today I'm going over how exactly high dose IV vitamin C kills cancer cells, who can benefit from it, where you can access it if your doctor doesn't prescribe it, and other things it's used for like chronic fatigue syndrome, autoimmune diseases, or inflammation. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why this is the most underrated all natural cancer treatments out there. So right now, you might think of vitamin C as something that can boost your immune system, something you take when you feel a cold coming on, but when taken at high doses through IV, it can be used to kill cancer cells. Cancer cells hate high doses of vitamin C. And not only that, some clinical trials have shown that IVC can actually make chemotherapy more effective and can reduce some of the nasty side effects from it, like nausea, fatigue, neuropathy, and even immune suppression. Now, something important you need to know is that taking vitamin C supplements or eating a ton of oranges will not do what IVC can do. If that were the case, maybe we'd all stay cancer free just by drinking orange juice every morning, right? But unfortunately, that's not how it works. Here's the difference. When you ingest vitamin C from food or supplements, your body can only absorb a small amount at a time. Anything extra that your body doesn't need just gets flushed out when you go to the washroom. But when you take in vitamin C through an IV line, it bypasses your digestive system and goes straight into your bloodstream. And this allows your body to absorb 50 to 100 times more vitamin C than it ever could through food. And when you reach those insane levels, that's when things get really crazy. At normal doses, vitamin C is an antioxidant, which means it helps to prevent cell damage. But at ultra high doses, it flips. It stops being an antioxidant and becomes a prooxidant and makes something called hydrogen peroxide in your body. And this is why cancer cells hate IVC, because they hate hydrogen peroxide. And we've known this for years. In 2008, a groundbreaking study showed that IVC could kill cancer cells by something called oxidative stress. And only two years later, they found something even more promising, that IVC actually attacks cancer cells in multiple ways. That's amazing. I'm not going to go too deep into the science behind all this, but here's basically how it works. So step one, you're given a high dose of vitamin C through an IV and it floods your bloodstream with levels that would never be possible to get through diet or taking supplements. Step number two, the vitamin C reacts with metals in your blood like iron. And this reaction creates a huge amount of hydrogen peroxide. And we know this is toxic to cancer cells, but normal cells can handle it just fine because they have the enzyme to break it down. But since cancer cells lack this enzyme, they can't break down the hydrogen peroxide, so instead they get overwhelmed and damaged and destroyed from the inside out. Now, if I'm losing you, if you're falling asleep, you'll want to hear this because here's where it gets even more interesting. Step number three, the high dose vitamin C tricks cancer cells. We know that cancer cells love sugar or glucose. They use it as their main source of fuel to grow and divide. And when vitamin C goes directly into your bloodstream, it looks exactly like glucose. So cancer cells mistake vitamin C for sugar and they start absorbing it aggressively. But instead of giving them fuel like sugar would, the vitamin C basically triggers oxidative stress and DNA damage and the cancer cells die. So in other words, the cancer cells are tricked into eating something that ends up killing them. How amazing is that? Now that's not even the full picture because IVC doesn't just kill cancer cells in this one way. We now know that it can kill cancer cells in at least 13 different ways that we know of so far. Some of these are starving them of energy, weakening their defenses, and making them more vulnerable to cancer treatments. And this is why more and more doctors are seeing the benefits of giving IVC to their patients along with their chemo or radiation. Now the million dollar question is, if IVC is proving to be so promising with the science to back it up, why aren't all doctors using it? Well, number one, it's the same reason most doctors don't tell their patients not to eat sugar after cancer. Medical schools don't include training on natural therapies like IVC yet, some schools are starting to, but since most doctors aren't familiar with natural therapies, they're not comfortable using them. Number two, pharmaceutical companies can't patent vitamin C. 
Since it's a natural compound, there's no big money in it, which means very few large-scale studies are being funded. And number three, although there is a growing amount of scientific evidence to support this, there's still a lot of regulatory hurdles to overcome. Like the FDA classifies IVC as alternative medicine. So unlike the big popular medical drugs, there's no billion dollar marketing campaign behind IVC. You certainly won't see TV ads for it. However, believe it or not, thousands of doctors are now using IVC as part of the treatment plan for their cancer patients. So if you're thinking, okay, this sounds amazing, but if my doctor doesn't recommend it, how can I access it? Since IVC isn't typically offered in most hospitals, you likely have to find a doctor who specializes in integrative or functional medicine or a naturopath. Also, the dosage you receive is key. And it's not just given in a single treatment to be effective, it's usually several treatments. And this can get very expensive if your insurance doesn't cover alternative medicine. And although it is generally safe, it's not safe for everyone. People with kidney disease or a G6PD deficiency should avoid IVC. So if you're considering it, the best thing you can do is just find a specialist who understands how to use it properly. Now, with all that being said, obviously IVC isn't a miracle cure for cancer. It shouldn't be used to replace surgery or chemo or radiation, but it's also not just a passing health trend either. When you think about it, not every alternative therapy has this much scientific evidence to back it up. A lot of things get really hyped up in the natural health world without solid research behind them, but IVC has been researched for decades, and the more we research it, the more we find amazing uses for it. It does have other uses aside from cancer treatment. It's also used for people with chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia because of its ability to reduce inflammation and oxidative stress. It's also used to help boost immunity and heal infections for people with compromised immune systems, and some people with autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis or lupus also use IVC to help manage inflammation and improve their energy levels. So although most people don't even know IVC exists yet, it doesn't change the scientific proof we already have or the promising results it's showing. And it certainly doesn't change the fact that it could help people who are looking for alternative cancer treatment options. I know a lot of people who are currently fighting cancer who feel like they've run out of options. People who are dealing with harsh side effects from chemo or those who aren't a candidate for surgery or radiation, but many of them don't even know that IVC is an option. I have another video on metabolic therapies that cancer patients are using to support their cancer treatments, so I'll link that in the description below for you to watch next. But the good thing is that since more and more research is being done on IVC and the results we're seeing are only getting stronger and stronger, maybe one day it will be offered to all cancer patients who can benefit from it. So if you or your loved one is fighting cancer, IVC may be worth looking into. And more people need to know about this. So share it with somebody you know who's battling cancer or somebody who's just interested in alternative therapies. Because the more we know, the more power we have over our health. By the way, I love all the comments and questions I've been getting on all my videos lately, and I will continue to do my best to try to reply to all of them, so please keep them coming, and as always, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next video.